Hi everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute, but I'm back, I guess. <laughs> Today I am here to share with you guys all of the things that I got for my birthday this year. So on November 12th, I turned 26, which is crazy. In my mind, I'm still like 16, so this is completely weird. But yes, here I am. I was completely spoiled this year, like I am every year actually and I have a lot of things to show you so I actually asked you guys over on Instagram if you wanted me to show you everything or only the books and the great majority of you wanted me to show everything <laughs> so here I am with a long video to film grab a snack because this is going to take a while <laughs> okay so before I get started I wanted to thank every single people that made my day better by giving me presents but not only that by showing up by sending me a text by calling me you guys meant the world to me my friends were so extra this year and i love them so much even though we are living very weird circumstances right now it still was a perfect day and i couldn't ask for more so thank you guys so so much okay so I decided to start with books because that's the main reason you're here, I guess. So yeah, I think I'm gonna start with those ones. So the very first thing that I got was a gift from my dad and it is this piece of paper. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Basically my dad ordered me this beautiful Penguin Drop Caps edition of Jane Eyre and it hasn't arrived yet and that's why I only got this piece of paper but I loved it, I loved it so much and I can't wait to have it in my hands. These editions are just so beautiful and I want to slowly collect some of them. So yeah, I'm very excited to have it in my hands. So thank you, Dad. So okay, going through categories, I think. I first have two books from the Penguin English Library editions, which I love so much. I want to slowly collect them all. I'm just crazy about these editions. And the first one I got was Delight by Charlotte Bronte. So this one I got from my boyfriend and I have been wanting to read all of Charlotte Bronte's books ever since I first read Jane Eyre, which was two years ago, which is crazy. I have absolutely no idea what this is about, so I am very excited to go into it blind because that's what I did with Jane Eyre and it worked out perfectly, so I'm so so excited to have this, you have no idea. And since we're talking about Charlotte Bronte, I also got Jane Eyre in this beautiful edition, which I have been wanting so much, but I had absolutely no reason to buy it because I have so many editions of this book already but my dear dear friend Elise got this for me she's at Spades Reads over at Instagram I'm gonna leave her link down below and you guys are gonna follow her because I just love that girl to pieces she just came into my life this year and I'm not gonna let her go anywhere so thank you so much I appreciate this so much thank you <laughs> Then I have a bunch of Penguin Classics books. First of all, we have here The Complete Poems of Emily Bronte. So as you guys can see, this is already a super Bronte-ish themed video and I have some more, so <laughs> yeah. Again, I have never read anything else by Emily Bronte except for Wuthering Heights and because she didn't publish a lot, I was very curious to read this and I'm definitely going to, to read this slowly because I want to take this all in. And I'm very excited but very nervous to read this at the same time because I think it's going to be a little bit difficult. Especially because, of course, English is not my native language. So yes, we'll see. But I'm so, so incredibly excited about this. Oh, and this was a gift by my boyfriend. Again, because a lot of these are. <laughs> Next we have Agnes Grey by Anne Bronte. Again. I read The Tenant of Wildfell Hall earlier this year and I fell utterly in love with it, so I'm so so excited to read this. It's actually very small, so I might get to this very fast, but I am so excited about this. And this, I actually know what it's about. It's a very Bronte theme to feature in a book, which is basically Agnes Ray is a governess and she goes from home to home and she's not treated that well in any of those homes. I think that's the main plot of the book, but I am so excited to read this, you have no idea. And again, this was a gift by my boyfriend. Next I have Shirley by Charlotte Bronte and this was actually funny because I wanted another edition I wanted the Penguin English Library edition but it's completely unavailable everywhere so he got me this edition instead because I really want to read it I don't want to wait for it so yeah, this book is huge what the heck, like I wasn't expecting it to be that big but nevertheless I'm very excited I have zero clues what this is about but I guess I'm going to find out 
And lastly, from this edition, I have, you guessed it, The Professor by Charlotte Bronte. I think, I think, I have all of Charlotte Bronte's works now. I need to check that. Let me know if you feel like I'm missing something. But yeah, I have no idea what this is about. I've heard very bad things about this, but hopefully I like it enough. I am just craving some more Charlotte Bronte in my life, so I'm very happy to have this. And again, a gift by my boyfriend. <laughs> then I got The Yellow Wallpaper by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. This was a gift, again, by my beautiful friend Alice, Elise. It's weird saying your name, like, speaking in English, but yeah. By my friend Elise. I am so excited to read this. This is the Penguin Little Black Classics thingy edition. Wait. Penguin Little Black Classics. Yes, that's the edition. I really wanted to read this for ages now, ever since I first heard of it. So yeah, I'm very excited about this, and I think she already read it. So I can actually talk to her about it, which is nice. <laughs> then I got To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. This is the Evergreens edition, I think, and this was gifted to me by Elise and Beatrice. <laughs> this is such a funny story. Uh, their birthdays were earlier this year, and they both had this book in their wishlist. So I gifted both of them this book so they could read together, and basically they decided to give it to me as well on my birthday so we could all read together, which just the idea of it, like, yes, she wanted us to read this together, but we want to read it with her too. Only that is a present on itself, so thank you girls so much, I love it, and I can't wait to read it with you guys, even though I have absolutely no idea what this is about. <laughs> Next I got two vintage classic Russian series, and for some reason I can't memorize that title, so I had to read it off of my piece of paper, sorry, but yeah, I got two books of those editions. So first of all, I got War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. It's probably the biggest book I own right now, so... <laughs> I will get to it eventually, I promise you. I just really don't know when that's gonna happen. But I am so excited about this because I read Anna Karenina, I think last year or two years ago or something, and I loved it. And I think Leo Tolstoy's writing is so easy and at the same time so beautiful that I think, yes, it's a Russian classic, yes, it's huge, but I think it's going to be a very nice read. It's not gonna mess my brain or anything. So I am very excited about this, but it's definitely on the back of my TBR right now, because I have so many other things to read, but I'm very excited for getting into it eventually. And this was, again, a gift from my boyfriend. And the other book I got from this edition is Anna Karenina by, again, Leo Tolstoy. This I got from Elise, again, because she's crazy. Thank you so much. And she actually thought I hadn't read it, and she bought it because she wanted to read it with me. And girl, I'll read it with you. I don't care if it's ginormous in if it's going to take me a whole month or anything because I love this book and I love reading books with you so we're on! I really love this book, it's probably one of my favorite books and I am so excited about having this edition because I really think it's the most beautiful edition of this book that is out so I loved it, I am so happy with it, thank you so much! Okay, and I guess the last classic I have here is this beautiful illustrated edition of The Beauty and the Beast by, let me see, Gabrielle Suzanne Barbeau de Villeneuve. Villeneuve. Villeneuve? Illustrated by Mina Lima. I am crazy about these editions. I already have Peter Pan and I want to collect one or two more, but I haven't even taken it out of the plastic because I feel like it's super, super... Um, fragile and I don't want to ruin it so I'm probably just gonna open this up when I read it which is a very Alice thing to do so girl I'm following your advice <laughs> but yes I am very excited about this and I can't wait to pick this up so thank you to my boyfriend for gifting this to me <laughs> next I got something that I have been dying to get my hands on and it's finally here, I am so excited, and that's the Percy Jackson box set. I almost screamed when I got this. This was a gift, again, you guessed it, by my boyfriend. I have never read the Percy Jackson series, which is kind of crazy, um, considering I read a lot, and it's basically a modern classic, so yeah, I'm very excited about this. This is very heavy, um, but yeah, I can't wait to pick this up. I am super excited about this, super curious as well, because it has a lot of fandom out there, so yeah, I am so excited about this! <laughs> okay, and I guess the rest of the books are just random books, so I'm just going to take one of the pile and show it to you. 
So I have here Night Film by Marisa Pessel. I have been dying to get to this basically since I first started watching booktube, so around like three years ago or something, and I'm very excited to have it. I had no idea this was such a chunk, but nevertheless, I am super excited. I have heard nothing but good things, so yes, thank you again to my boyfriend. <laughs> Do you think he spoils me too much? Next, I have Divergent Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides, I think that's how you pronounce it. This is kind of a modern classic, I guess, I'm not sure, so you might count it as classics, I don't know. But yes, I have been very curious about this. Most of the books that I am very curious about, I have heard nothing about, like the synopsis or anything, so I don't know much about it, but I am very, very curious about this. So yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to my boyfriend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next up, I have Reasons to Stay Alive by Matt Haig, and honestly, I'm just gonna leave a picture here for you to enjoy of me receiving this book. That's how much I loved it. I have been dying to get my hands on this. I am so excited to read this, and I really think and I really feel it's going to change my life a little bit, so thank you again to my boyfriend, and I am very excited about this. Next, I got The Fakir by Beth O'Leary. This was one of the books that I really wanted to get to in the summer, so it's probably going to wait around until next summer. But yes, I'm very excited about this. I think the premise sounds very cool. I think it's about this guy and this girl that share this flat, but they basically don't meet ever because one of them lives there during the night and the other during the day, but they even share the bed and stuff, so a romance develops from there. And yes, I'm curious enough, I really want to read it, but I think it's going to have to wait until next summer because I really like to read these types of books in summer. I'm not sure if I mentioned this was a gift from my boyfriend, but you know that already. Next I got The Memory Police by Yoko Ogawa. I have been dying to get my hands on this and this is probably one of the books that I'm going to pick up first because I am just so curious about this. I think basically people start forgetting what certain words mean and there's this one guy that actually remembers everything and I don't know, just a synopsis of it and I'm so curious about what the story exactly is going to be like so yes, I'm very curious about this and actually I really want to read more works by foreign people that are not American or English because I feel like the majority of the books I read are from American or English authors and this author, I think he's Japanese, I'll check, but I think he's Japanese and I'm very excited about picking this up and hopefully I will start reading more foreign works and more translated works. So yes, I am very excited about this. Thank you so much to my boyfriend. <laughs> Next I got One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So now officially I have only one book left by her to have, which is Forever Interrupted, but I don't know if I want to read that book because it's supposedly very, 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 very sad. and. This one is very sad as well, so <laughs> I don't know if I'm mentally prepared. Probably not the best book to read now, but I'll get to it eventually. So in case you guys don't know, Taylor Jenkins Reid is one of my favorite authors, if not my favorite author. I've loved basically every single book of her that I've read already. So yes, I'm very curious about this one. It's supposed to be very sad, but I can take it. Yes, I can take it. So thank you again to my boyfriend. Next up, we have The Secret History by Donna Tartt. So I was actually walking through a bookstore the other day and I picked this up and I was like, I think I'm going to take it. And this was like five days before my my birthday or something. And he was like, my boyfriend of course, he was like, I think you should buy something else. So I knew this was coming and I am so excited about this. Uh, basically, this is a dark academia book. I think it's basically one of the first Dark Academia books that ever came out. So yeah, I'm very excited. Again, I don't know much. I suck at book hauls. I'm so sorry. But yes, I got this one from my boyfriend and I'm very excited to read it. Thank you. And now, um, I actually basically screamed in front of three people and the rest of the coffee shop. But <laughs> I got The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. This has been an available everywhere and I actually thought that nobody was gonna get it for me for my birthday because I actually thought it was going to be impossible but 
Alas, it's here. I am so excited. This is probably my most excited book of the year, along with The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. And I finally have both of them, like The Midnight Library, I ordered it ages ago and it finally came. I have both of them, so I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the year reading and doing only that, basically. So yes, I am super excited about this. I kind of know what this is about, but every time people mention it, I skip forward because I don't want to know anything. I want to go into it absolutely blind, as blind as I can. So yes, I am so excited. Thank you so much to my boyfriend. Okay, two more books to go. We can do this. The next book I got, I was so shocked when I received this because I really wasn't expecting it at all. So I got Uzumaki by Junji Ito. Girl, are you crazy? You're crazy. <laughs> so I got this from my beautiful friend Beatrice. So basically she lent me her copy of Gio, Gio, I don't know how to pronounce it, early this year, like last month or something, and I loved it. And she also lent it to Elise and she didn't like it, so now it's our thing, only mine and Beatrice thing. So yes, she also got it for herself, so now we're gonna be buddy reading this together and I am just so happy to have like people to buddy read things, of course, but those girls, like, I love them. They're, they're amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll treasure this forever. You bet. Okay, now on to the last book. And because we started with the Bronte sisters, I think it's the best book to finish this off with. And that is Glass Town by Isabel Greenberg. This is beautiful, yes, but I wish you can feel it. It's so velvety. I don't know. It just has such a nice feel to it. Uh, so basically Glass Town is an imaginary world that the Bronte sisters along with their brother created when they were kids and this is basically a graphic novel about this and I am just so curious because I haven't read any non-fiction about the Brontes which is something that I really want to read so this is the first thing that I'm gonna get into. Um, so yeah I'm so excited about this. Thank you to my boyfriend. <laughs> Okay, those were actually all of the books that I got, but I actually got also some bookish items, so I'm gonna share them with you guys right now. So, I already get rid of the box, so it's a shame because it was a very cute box, but one thing that Beatrice also gave me was this beautiful slug bookmark, and <laughs> when I saw this, I, I laughed so hard, because basically she was like, oh, you once mentioned that slugs are your spirit animal, and girl, they are. I love them, so I love this so much, and the way it fits in a book is actually very nice. So yes, I can't wait to read this and giggle every time I pick my book up. So yes, thank you so much, it's such a thoughtful gift, because it actually means that you know me. And I'm gonna call her Beatrice. You're welcome. The next thing that I have is amazing, I'm just gonna show it to you, it's this Jack Skellington and Jack's House Funko Pop. This is beautiful, I'll insert some close-ups so you guys can see it better. But this is absolutely amazing. I already had a Sally Funko Pop. It's actually the first pop I ever got and it was actually a gift from my boyfriend's grandma as well. So it's very nice. And I have this little shelf right here dedicated to Nightmare Before Christmas. So this sits beautifully in there and I'm so excited to have it. Thank you so much. I, <laughs> I was missing Jack on my shelves. So yes, thank you. And it's actually sitting on top of books. Like... It's perfect. So yeah, thank you so much. I love it. And lastly, I got this beautiful Dobby Funko Pop by my friend Beatrice and her boyfriend Dwart. They're currently living in Oxford because she's taking her PhD there because she's that kind of person. I'm like the proudest of friends. I love her so much and I'm so proud of her and I just wish she could have been here so I could give her a hug but actually I couldn't so... <laughs> Well, I love her so much and I miss her so much and the fact that she not only called me and video chat with me and she actually got me something that she absolutely didn't have to. She's so sweet. And Dwight as well, they're, I miss them so much and I can't wait to see them again. Hopefully they'll be here for Christmas and I can grab a safely distanced coffee with them. But yes, I love them and I really miss him. So thank you. Okay, on to makeup and beauty, I think. The next things I'm going to show you were all gifts from my dad, so thank you so much. So the first thing I got is this Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. 
I have been dying to get my hands on an actually good mascara because I have been using one that was very old and from a drugstore and stuff so I am very excited for having this so yes, thank you so much, it means a lot because I never actually owned very good makeup and it's actually a life changing so I definitely recommend, if you can of course to splurge a little bit on makeup because it's something you put on your face and that's something I never prioritized but I kept using the old ones I had and it's not good for you so I'm very very happy to have this and it's definitely something that I'm going to start buying more in the future more beauty products to like spoil my skin because I think it deserves it <laughs> next up I got this Gimme Brow Plus Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel and I actually love this and I got it in color 6 in case you might be curious and I'm wearing it right now and it definitely makes a difference I had been using one by NYX and it was good, it was nice but this one is so different, it's so much better and I definitely, definitely recommend the biggest package, I think it's too extra, it's very expensive, but if you're like me and you only wear like a full face of makeup now and then, I think the small travel size edition is a very good thing to purchase and I definitely recommend, it's very good and yeah, again, life changing, so thank you so much to my dad. And the last thing I got from my dad was this Too Faced Enchanted Beauty Foxy Neutrals Limited Edition Makeup Collection and first of all the packaging is what drew me in. I love foxes and this box is just super extra and the things that contains are actually very good as well I have been using them for the last couple of days I am using all of them now and I am very excited about this so I'm going to show them to you so first of all we got these 12 eyeshadow palettes and it's very nice I really appreciate the colors it's the type of colors that I would wear every day I definitely see a difference between this and the old eyeshadows that I have been wearing I mean, those eyeshadows were great, but they're completely expired, I'm sure of it, so I'm so happy to have this now. Also in there came this little thing, it's basically a highlighter and a blush, and the colors are very nice, especially the blush, because I think it's very close to my natural color. So yes, I'm very excited about this and I have been using it a lot. I'm not the biggest fan of the highlighter, but it works very well if you use it as a night shadow. So yes, I really recommend it as well. The last thing that came in that package was this travel size damn girl mascara. And I am crazy about this. The cashier lady actually told me, are you sure you want to grab the better than sex mascara? Because the damn girl is actually better. And I was like, yeah, but I'll try them both out because I've been hearing very good things about better than sex. But actually, I think I prefer this one. This is just so volumizing and it's so effective. I need to try this on a few more times, but for now, I think I actually prefer this one. So, I don't know, keep that in mind. Next, from my boyfriend, I got this beautiful MAC lipstick. This is the Mullet Over Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color and I really like this lip color. I've actually seen this over at MAC Instagram and I love the color. And yes, we basically went to MAC so I could see it in my hands, basically left me at a store and he went to grab it and he came back with more than one thing on the bag. So the other thing that he gifted me from MAC is this Fix Plus Prep Plus Prime. Um, this is basically something you apply on your face after you put on your makeup or before actually, I think I've already uh, read somewhere that you can put it on your face beforehand as well. And I was very scared, I just used this today <laughs> for the first time and I was very scared, I was like, okay, I'm going to ruin my face. But no, it's so refreshing and it smells so good. And also all of the products that I just showed you from Too Faced smell so good. And with this, I just smelled so good altogether. I can't say I recommend it because again, this is the first time I'm wearing it and I don't know how it's going to be throughout the day. But just for the feel you get in your face when you put it on, it's so good, it's so satisfying. So just for that, I recommend it. <laughs> And then MAC was making like this promo thing that if you took two products they would give to you a full size lipstick. So I got this. This is the Work 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 uh, Powder Kiss Lipstick. And I have to say the color is very nice but I'm not crazy about the formula of this product. That's probably why they're giving them away. I don't know, it just feels super watery on your lips. like you need to put it on your lips like multiple times so it sticks 
So yeah, it's not the best formula, but the color is very nice. And because it was free, I, I'm not mad at it <laughs> or anything. But yes, it shows that he knows me because this color is very me. And lastly, in the beauty section, I have something that I was definitely not expecting. And I just love this so much and I can't wait to use it. And that is this package by Elisab Le Parfum. Elisab is my favorite fashion designer. And it's actually my favorite brand of perfume as well. My favorite perfume is by Ali Saab and I haven't been wearing it because it's basically almost done and I have been saving it. So my brother actually got me this and I am so excited because it not only has the full size perfume but it also has a body lotion and a body shower gel, I guess. When you open this package, the smell of it, Jesus, it's so good. I can't wait to use it and this is something that shows how much he knows me and how much he pays attention so it's very caring just for that and I really like it it's a very thoughtful gift and it's an amazing present and I'm so grateful thank you so so much to my brother I swear we're almost there so moving on to fashion so next I have three things that were gifted to me by my stepdad and first I have this bag that I got in Parfois so it's basically a very plain simple black bag but I was actually very much needing it because all of my black bags are very small so I actually had to change my wallet every time I needed to use a black bag so now I have a big one that fits everything that I need and it's very practical and I have been using it every single day since then the next thing I got I have been wearing this every day as well and people probably think I don't own anything else because I love it so much and that's this jacket from Stradivarius I love it so much and the colors I think it, they are so me and the length of the jacket as well and the way you can style it and stuff I use it all day in my birthday <laughs> I just love it so much and it's so comfy and I just want to live in it actually because I don't know I just I love it so much <laughs> And the last thing I got, fashion-wise, was this black beret. I have one, but it's like a creamy color, it's like beige or something. And I needed a black one, um, because I actually thought it would look nice with my coat, but I ended up not wearing it on my birthday. But I'm sure I'm gonna use it a lot in the future, but I don't know man, it's November and I'm freaking warm in my country, so maybe not. Okay, the last category, we're off to miscellaneous, I guess. So first of all, I got some money from my mom that I haven't yet decided where I'm going to spend it. So yeah, that's it. Basically, I'm sure I'm going to buy something very special because it's from my mom, of course. So thank you so, 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 so much. Okay, probably the most random thing that I got this year was this plant. <laughs> this was a gift from my brother. So he's been acting crazy about plants and taking care of them and buying them. and. He has been acting crazy with plants and we already have like a garden in our balcony. It looks amazing and it takes a lot of care for them. And this is my favorite one. Uh, in Portugal it's called Spada de São Jorge. I'm going to insert the name in English somewhere on the screen because I am clearly not prepared. But yes, I have been saying how much I wanted him to have one of those and how I think it would look beautiful in a pink vase. So it just randomly got me. <laughs> this plant in a pink vase and it's so thoughtful because like he actually heard the crazy things that I was saying like I know zero about plants and I was just babbling like oh that one look is my favorite and I think it would look nice in a pink vase so he just got it for me <laughs> of course he's going to be the one taking care of it because like I said I know next to nothing about plants but it's still my plant and I love it a lot so I'm very excited and <laughs> now I have a plant that's actually my own so thank you it was so 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 sweet thank you thank you thank you now I'm going to put it on the ground because it already made a mess on my bed okay so we're almost there so the next thing I have to share with you guys is this bracelet that my best friend gave me and uh, this is basically an anchor and a pink uh, ringstone I think I don't know um, basically she gifted this to me because we're each other's anchors and that alone is a gift just saying that is a gift altogether so thank you so so much and she also worked so hard to uh, make me kind of a little party uh, here in my house she basically comes here every week so she's basically part of the family and she threw me a party here and 
that means so much to me you have no idea nobody ever threw me a party like that so <laughs> it was very very sweet and actually a very awful thing happened to her in that week and she was going through a very hard time and she managed to put a smile on her face and put that together for me and that was so sweet and my family was all involved and a lot of my friends were involved and that is so special to me like so much more than any present is the care that everybody puts in my on my birthday okay so the last thing that my boyfriend gave me were some Rafaelos, which are some of my favorite chocolates, but they actually came in a different box that he handmade and stuff. He always makes me some DIY projects, and I'm not going to share that with you guys here because it's quite personal, but it was super sweet, and it's always my favorite presents to receive because he put so much care in it, and yes, thank you so much, and I'm going to be eating them all during December. And last but not least, <laughs> the last present I got was one Ferrero Rocher! This was a gift by my lovely friend Ivan. I actually love that guy, although he thinks I don't, but I do. I like him. He's fine. I just wish he had a haircut. So if you guys could help me out and spam him in the comments, because he's gonna be commenting, he's like my number one fan, he's al he always comments on my videos. So if you please tell him for me to cut his hair, I would really appreciate it. Just please spam him. He needs it. Thank you. Okay, I think that was pretty much it. Again, I had the time of my life. All of those presents show how much people know me and the fact that Elise and Beatrice came all the way to be with me for my birthday. Beatrice had been working since like 7 a.m. or something and she spent the afternoon with me, at least a couple of hours with me and Elise hadn't slept basically because she works at night so she basically didn't sleep and she came all the way from like so far away just to be with me for a couple of hours and to give me so many presents that they absolutely didn't have to I am so happy, thank you so much, it means so much I love my birthday this year and if all birthdays of all people could be like this one I think everyone would be happier really because it was an amazing day and I had been having a really rough week and that was exactly what I needed so thank you again so much to everyone involved and everyone that just texted or called thank you so much it meant the world so that's it that's my very long video i hope i'll come back eventually because i actually love filming like when i'm filming i like it but the prep of it just gets on my nerves and i get very anxious but i actually like doing this so maybe i'm back Let's see, don't put your hopes up, but maybe. So if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. And yes, hopefully I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.